Welcome back to City Skylines, and right here I've got a floating island that I have made using the little damn trick that we tried out on Earth Map. If you haven't checked out that series, we've done some ridiculous stuff there, and I suggest you go see it. But the challenge for today is trying to build a city on top of this. And not only do we have to build a city on top of it, we have to make it accessible by only blimps. We, we can't really do ships because the water is being churned and ripped apart uh, by the dams and the ships would be at risk of being absolutely destroyed but blimps should work and the question is can we make a functioning little city on this floating island i know when you clicked this video you thought it was clickbait you thought how the heck did he make a floating island but i i, I sure damn did get it because it's dams ah what a good joke that was fantastic. Sub count drops by 800. So what we're going to do is we're just going to build a nice little city here. Doesn't even have to be fancy. There we go. It looks like a basketball. We've built a basketball city. Good job us. This is so exciting. It's actually a little bit orange as well. Let's just hope this water doesn't freak out. It does do that occasionally. And if I accidentally killed everyone, I'd feel a little bit bad. Okay, so we'll make this side mostly uh, residential. We'll put some... Actually, this can pretty much all be residential, honestly. We can go down here. Great. And then we're going to fill in a bit of commercial, which is step two. Well, not really step two. It's just, a, just another thing that we need. And then we need industrial. There we go. Very happy looking basketball. Now it's completely zoned up. We'll give them their own elect- Oh. Are these actually generating electricity? I don't think so, but if they- If any of them are- No. No, no, no. Sadly, they're too glitched to do that. So we'll put a few windmills on the industrial side of the city and we'll also put a pump because there's plenty of water even if it's uh, freaking out this may actually help stabilize it a little bit let's get the basketball all the water it needs I'm trying to do this all at once all this setup because we don't know how long the system is going to be stable for before the water absolutely freaks out okay there we go looking good now what we have to do is we need to make a way for people to get to the city through blimps. That's going to be fun. We're just going to connect this to this and go across here. And ready for this. Bam. Blimperonies. Ready? And I get a blimp depot. We're going to keep right over here. And then we're going to get a blimp stop. There we go. There's our blimp stop. We'll even do two blimp stops because I have a feeling... We're going to have quite a few people going through. Then we will have a blimp entrance. Uh, where will we put them? We'll put them on opposite sides. Right in the center. There we go. And we will make a blimp pathway that goes... This one will go to this one. This one will go to... This one. And then they both need to be connected to the depot because the depot gets them the blimps. Now we just have to do create line. They go here and then they go back and they go here and they go back. Okay, here we go. That's very exciting. These are probably going to need water and electricity as well. We will just siphon it from the city. The electricity is going to be a little bit challenging, but here we go. Over the dams, through the floating island. Okay, the floating island of doom is all set and connected, and I think we may be ready. Uh, let's just get them some services they'll probably want. Let's get them fire. Let's get them some police. All of the things that we believe are important in life. Keyword believe. Who needs police and firemen? That's absolutely ridiculous. 
Here we go. We'll just do a normal hospital here. Wow, this is actually going to be a really, really high quality area. Let's even put some schools. Let's get people really excited to live over here. Of course, the uh, hospital is in the industrial area. So is the elementary school, but who cares? Here we go. I, I really hope that this doesn't, like, absolutely explode. Uh, I was having some issues in the past. Okay, it looks like it's stable right now. The question is... Will the blimps get people to the area before everything exp Oh no, and there's waves! There's waves attacking the blimp depots! No! Okay, what we'll do to protect them from the waves that this is causing is we will just set up a uh, slight water protection system over here. There we go. Send out, send out the cavalry. Please. Uh-oh. They aren't sending them out in time. That's sad. Okay, hopefully people actually, uh... Oh, they also need sewage handling. Great, let's just dump that into this. I'm sure that's not going to cause any issues whatsoever with a sewage explosion. Of course not. How could that possibly happen? Now, you may be worried because the water uh, in is so close to the sewage out. You shouldn't have to worry because this is getting cycled. Uh, and it's getting pulled into here and just getting thrown all over the place. So it's going to be diluted a lot. Oh, no, it's doing the thing! Okay. Okay, it's going to be okay. Your floating island is going to be absolutely fine. None of you are going to die. Trust me. The population is at zero. They're building houses, but the population is as zero. It's like they're completely ignoring the absolute explosion going on around them. Um, it's like a cursed city. Okay, how do we get people to actually move? Well, I think that we can pull this off with a strategy I've used in a previous series. Now, this is a little bit fancy, but what we can do is we can put some... Zoning over here just to get people to move in to the city initially then after they move into the city initially they will move across to the bigger area Let's see if that works. Yep, here we go four people nine people 30 people Okay, we just have to get people now this is freaking out a lot, but nothing's actually breaking it is sending out tsunamis towards the area over here, though. So what we're going to do is we're going to very strategically build a tsunami wall. And by that, I don't mean a wall that causes tsunamis. I mean a wall that prevents tsunamis. It's going to cause a tsunami initially, though. Uh, but we can probably try to... Stop that from happening. Through some strategic means. Like, watch this. We're gonna... We're going to do this the professional way. There we go. So you may be saying, well, isn't that going to push the water out and cause a tsunami? No, because we're just going to build a pit behind it so that it catches the water that was just displaced. I know. Genius level. Genius level solution. Until it doesn't work. <laughs> Let's see if it actually works. Come on. Okay, first off, look at that. Brilliant. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, please just go straight back down and don't kill anyone. Wait, are there people waiting? All we have to do is get, like, one person living in the actual city area over here. Like, if we can get anyone living over here, I will be happy. Because uh, I just want people living in a floating city in the middle of nowhere. Uh, Maple Park, I guess it's called. Although, we should probably call it... Dabal. Of course, the caps lock was on, but that's okay. It looks even better now. Da ball. Oh my god, wait! We have 47 people living here! It's working! Oh my god, they're really fighting off the uh, water that's uh, really plaguing, plaguing the city. But you know what? It doesn't matter that the floating, the floating island is kind of exploding. I'm sure everything's going to be fine. Can a blimp please bring people over? We need more population. Actually, they're not really blimps, they're spaceships.
Oh no! Everything was destroyed! Oh darn, that's really unfortunate. Looks like we're gonna have to fix that. <laughs> ah! Ah! Quickly! Rescue them! Faster! We need to repair everything. We can't get anyone over to Dabal. And everyone at the Dabal is dying. We need more people. Come on. You guys have to get back to work. Okay. Okay, great. And the flood trucks are doing their job as well. Okay, people are moving back into the city. Population is now five. Okay, how's Dabal doing? Pretty well. Five people living here. You know, they've got the entire thing to themselves. That's pretty exciting. Look at the ships. This is why we chose not to do ships to get people in. It's a slightly dangerous journey. Okay, um... Is anyone actually going across? Zero out of 175. Okay, that's slightly disappointing. Zero out of 35. Great. Can we, like, raise these numbers a little bit? Just a little bit. Don't die. Don't die. Oh, people are dying. Flood trucks, this is your job. Your job is to prevent this from happening. How are they having electric issues? Probably because there isn't enough electricity. Let's fix that. Bam, now there's enough electricity. Be happy. You guys have trash issues up here? Oh, I'm sorry. So sorry. There you go. It's really expensive. Jeez, living on a floating island. You've got to be pretty rich. We're 77000 a week in debt. I mean, of course, we have really good conditions up here compared to what's actually necessary. Wait, there's only two people. And there's two trash trucks moving around. So I think those are the only two people. I know it doesn't actually count them. But I'm... I'm, I'm being, I'm being humorous, you know, trying to be entertaining, as is the job of a YouTuber. Okay, why are there only two people? Like, even if they just went into these buildings, it would be over two. Are the main roads just flooded all the way back? No. No, they are not. Oh. Yes, they are. There's no way to actually get here. Well, that's sad. Come on. Oh, it's moved. Can people move in now, please? That would be great. It's really lonely. <laughs> it's really lonely around here. Sure, there's the risk of death we face occasionally, but it's definitely worth living on a floating island. A beautiful floating island that has absolutely no issues whatsoever. It's just, it's just floating like a, like a normal floating island. I mean, we need to get at least- Oh! Oh, the population's jumping up! Here it goes! Yes! I'm assuming it's this road. That's the road. There it is. Here they come. Quickly, before another tsunami hits, you all have to get onto these. Come on, someone. Someone try to go across, please. Someone, anyone. There we go, them. Do you want to go across to the b-ball? No. No, you don't. The ball. The ball is very lonely still. 11 people! 12 people! It's getting better, guys. It's getting better. It's not nearly as much of a mess. I mean, sure. Sure, it's kind of a mess. And, and sure, everything is kind of broken. But at the same time, isn't life broken? Wow, that was deep. Okay, we're at 160 population and people are being carried into the Dabal. A lot of adults, not many children. Probably good there aren't many children because this is getting dangerous. It's getting very dangerous. Maybe we should invest in some flood infrastructure. Uh, just, just to prevent flooding. Yeah, how about we just get a uh, flood thingy right here. There we go. I'm sure people will appreciate it. If they don't know why it's necessary, they'll know why in like two sec- Oh my god. Oh my god, that mod just really, really lagged it out. Oh my. Why can't I just drag this building? 
Okay, never mind. You you don't I, I understand you don't want me to drag the build. Okay. Great, we will we will put another one down. You do not have to hold the game hostage. I understand you do not want to be moved. Okay, great. The ball is surviving. We've got 27 people. Oh no, there's flooding. 26! Oh no, the flooding's hitting so hard! Quickly, flood truck, save the population! Okay, okay, 26. 26 people. Can we get another shipment of people? What's this? Nobody on board. Oh, there's another freak out over here. The gravitational fields holding the island up are also its greatest enemy. Oh no. So over here, things aren't going too poorly. I mean, you've got... You've got nothing really going on. A very boring city over here. There's got to be at least one person who wants to go across to the better side. Anyone? Nobody. Nobody at all. That's disappointing. Like, this is the greatest city of all time. What if we, like, make it more attractive? What if we make it so that people, like, really want to move in here, even if they're likely going to die? You know what? Let's get a movie theater. That'll, that'll, that'll degrade their will to live. I mean, <clears throat> make them more likely to move in. There we go. They can just watch Infinity War on repeat. Okay, ready? Here we go. Park. Ah! There we go. Nice! They're so happy now. It's almost like there's more than two people there. We have a movie theater for what? 31 people. Imagine the theaters. They're so empty. Why is all of this stuff... Oh, God. Why is my chat... I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry that all this stuff is showing up. My, uh... Streamlabs for Twitch slightly merged with my normal OBS, and now I have to get rid of all these extra things. Okay, so good news is that nobody... There, there's still people on the ball. Only 15 now, though, because the flooding is spreading. C can we keep them alive? That's the question. It's, it's really getting bad. Some of those waves are looking pretty terrifying. Please have people on board. Nobody on board. The ball may die. That would be very sad. How are things going over here? Terrible. That's okay, because nobody is supposed to live over here anyways. But if we expand, maybe more people will move in to the other area. I know this was my logic before, but the logic before wasn't completely wrong. If there's no jobs here, if they move in, they're bound to move to the area that has jobs, right? Right? Is my logic wrong here? Oh god, I see the population drop by like two, and that could be the entire population to ball. There's 24 people here. Oh jeez, it got hit by a little bit of water again. 25. They're having children, which is like, really brutal. Half the people here are children. Oh! People got brought in! Is that more? Oh, no, it's not. But some people got brought in. Now there's 38. 45! This is the highest population DeBall has ever seen. 52! 53! It looks like the strategy of giving more area on the other part of the world is working. 53 people. That's exciting. It looks like there's a lot of workers. The issue is the water is getting very unstable. Like, wait, how is the pollution doing, considering we're just mixing the pollution? Yeah, it just doesn't even care just because it's being cycled so quickly. We've solved pollution, guys. Good job. All you have to do is make a rip in the space-time continuum. 76. That's it. We we are really increasing the population of Dabal. We're doing a fantastic job. So, here's the deal. I think we have proven very well that this is a complete success. Absolute success. There were no issues whatsoever. And, um, no, no risk of death whatsoever to the people on the island. 
I mean, it's it's really your call whether or not you think it was success, uh, success but I, I think it was thoroughly successful. Ignoring the massive budget deficit. Absolutely massive bus budget deficit. If we add more blimps, it'll look cooler. Here we go. More blimps. Very good job. Great, great job. Great job, guys. That's gonna be it this time. We built a floating island that you can only reach by, by blimps. Spaceships. Things. I think I'm gonna say blimps in the title, though, because people actually know what blimps are in this game. Spaceships aren't really the normal city skylines. That wow, look at all of them. There are a lot of them. There are a very lot of them. They're all lined up and ready. Is it going to explode anymore? I think we've done it. I think this city is actually going to grow into like a prosperous place. There's every once in a while there's a little disaster, but there's enough people coming. Oh. Oh. Look at the, the water team. They're so fast. Oh wait, everywhere's flooding now. Faster, please. Become faster. Okay, guys, but that's going to be it. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you've enjoyed. And this island is just looking absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely nothing has gone wrong whatsoever. Hail Vuperia, and I will see you all next time.